a midrash. The midrash tells us, "Omer Reb Yirmi by the Lozer, Asida Baskol Dios Mefutzetzis Baroshi Orim Vomeris." This is going to be a heavenly voice, which is going to be piercing or chirping on the mountaintops and saying, Kol mi shepolim keel, yovolito schoro, whoever participated together with HaKadosh Baruch Hu, should come take his rightful reward. Ruach HaKadosh Sovachas Omeris, and Ruach HaKodesh is screaming and says, Migdmani Vashalem, who preceded me that I owe anybody anything? Mi kiles lefonai, achlon sati lo nishama, has anybody stated my praises before I gave him a soul? So from where does the praise or the recognition or the ability to appreciate who HaKadosh Baruch Hu, where does it emanate from? From one's soul? Could a person circumcise his male child if I wouldn't give him a male child? Is it possible to fulfill the mitzvah of tzitzis? Put fringes on your corners if Hakadosh Baruch wouldn't have given us a garment. Is it possible to make a parapet around your roof if God wouldn't have given us a roof? Are you able to build a sukkah if it wouldn't have given you the location to build a sukkah? Could you leave the, the, the corner of the field for the poor? If Hashem wouldn't have given you the field? Is it possible to tithe Truma and Maser, which is given to the Levi, if I wouldn't have given him the harvest? Is it possible to bring a Korban if I wouldn't give him the animal? The various species which were given by Kodesh Baruch Hu to give us the opportunity to bring the Korban. I mean, what exactly is Kodesh Baruch Hu saying? If I wouldn't have endowed you with every aspect of your life, you couldn't even address my request. So what does Hashem want? What does He want? There's a mitzvah which is stated in Dvorim, Shoftim Shochim Titan Khobhosharecho. You have an obligation to install judges and law enforcers in all the communities. And according to what opinion the mission of Sanhedrin a community which is as small as 120 individuals, you have to have a Sanhedrin. It's a court of 23 people. And these people have special qualification. And on top of that, you have to have law enforcers, enforcement force, that if anybody should not fulfill the law properly, the law enforcers, they enforce the ruling of the court to give Malkos or whatever it may be. Now, we know what is the differentiating factor between a human being and any other living species? The power of choice. Now, if a person doesn't have the context to do the wrong, how do we apply our power of choice? If you, you have such a court, a court of smuchim ordained from Moshe Rabbeinu 23, you have law enforcers. You barely, it's impossible to sin. You can only sin behind closed doors. Seemingly, this minimizes our Bechira. The context where we're able to choose as we wish to choose, we can't. Because the consequences and the ramifications of doing the wrong thing, of transgressing, it could be very serious and very dire. So what exactly is the Torah telling us? That the Bechira of the Jew is not to live as a Jew or to live as an intelligent living creature or a predator animal. That's not the choice of a Jew. The Jew has to live within the context of Torah. What must the choice of the Jew to be? Do you do the mitzvah lishma? Do you do losh lishma? Behave, you have to behave. There's a baseline. You must behave as the Odom. The Odom means a person lives according to the prescription of the Torah. That's the obligation of the Jew. And this is set by the infrastructure of every community. You have a court. You have law enforcers, enforcement. Therefore, one would have to be really unstable to do the wrong thing because of the consequences of his behavior. So what is Bechira? Bechira is do I do at a lesser level or do I at a greater level? But do I do the mitzvah? Of course you do the mitzvah. Do you transgress? Of course you don't transgress. So it's the intent of how you live your life as a Jew. A person, whatever we have in life, you have the house, you build the parapet, 
What do you have to recognize? What do I have the roof to have the context to build the makeh on my roof or have the child to be able to circumcise my child? Somehow we leave HaKadosh Baruch out of, out of the equation. If God wouldn't have given me the male, would I be able to fulfill the mitzvah of, of mila, of circumcision? If I wouldn't have the field, could I fill the mitzvah of peyo? So Hashem is, pro, the, is the provider, not only in the material, but He's the provider even within the spiritual. Because the spiritual setting could only be set only because Hashem endows me with the material to be able to fulfill that. That understanding infuses the mitzvah with another level. It's a level of appreciation of beholdness to HaKadosh Baruch Hu, that whatever I am as a Jew, it's not only my choice, but I couldn't make the choice if he wouldn't give me the setting to make that choice. This is what has to, so this is what we're talking about. It's the infusion of the quality understanding of who am I and who, what has Hashem given me to be able to be who I should be. We read in Pirkei Ovos that Ramgalil says, a person who does work, who, who's engaged with the tzibur, he should do it for the sake of God. That the schus of the ovos of the community, there's a question the morale learns of, of the ovos akadoshim, will assist them to succeed in whatever that endeavor may be. And the righteousness is eternal. Although you had to succeed, to succeed, you had to come on to the merit of the tzibur or the merit of the Ovas HaKadoshim, or the merit of Klal Yisrael to succeed, but because you did it for the sake of God, therefore you get full credit, although it wasn't your personal schus, merit that allowed you to succeed. Again, what do we see? Whatever we have, everything is dependent on what is our intention. If you serve God with the proper, with the dedication, with the humility, and you infuse your action, it takes to another dimension. I bring the carbon. But why do I have even the ability to atone? We sin, we do tshuva, but it's, tshuva is not enough. You have to bring korbanos, you have to bring sacrifices to have full atonement. Now why am I able to have full atonement? Because God provided me with the species to be able to have full atonement. So when we, even when we bring the korban, it has to be with a level of appreciation that the reason why I'm able to be successful in the spiritual realm is only because Hashem provided me in the material.